I have got tons of gear, tons of lures, tons of it at home, and I want to give it away. So make sure to leave a comment if you want a chance to win. I'll give it about a week or two. I will pick one of you and I will send you some gear. Remember, post a comment, win prizes. All right, well, we got something of size, I think. They seem to hit really hard at the first, and then uh, as they get up to the surface, they start playing it out or something. He's pulling, though. Uh, feels good. This is right where we caught our browns last year. Like a week ago, a year ago today, we were fishing at 60 feet. We caught. I don't know what it was, two or three really nice browns. So that's what we're hoping to get into today. I remember a story from a couple years ago. Anglin Archer was out here tossing six inch long rubber trout lures and caught, I think it was a 15 pound brown. Six pound brown. <laughs> no way, it was 15 pounds. This fish has got some shoulders, and we have no net. Six pounds, no. Come on. There's actually, I think we actually have a picture of it on the website. If I can find it, I will, I will, I will put it somewhere in here. Oh, so we got. Oh, we got it tangled up. It's tangled up with other lines. The middle line. That's why he's got so much shoulder. Oh, he's nice. Whew. Good job, man. That'll teach me to lose the uh, net, huh? Yeah. All right, well, that's, uh, that's a fish of some size there. Beauty. We've been trying to find the browns and uh, we have not found any browns yet actually. Pretty decent sized two plus pound, couple two pound rainbows so far, uh, but no browns. So this is a good run for us uh, all along this cliff face back to the launch, basically straight out from the launch on the left hand side for about a mile. You know, we're about this far away from the shore uh, 100 yards, give or take. 100 yards, give or take. And uh, it's just been great. Hold on. The uh, 10 seconds. Go home. The drone was complaining. So she's up there. I don't know if you can see her or not. But. She got to come home, so. All right, fine. We'll do it. We'll do this the hard way. It's right out of juice, huh? It is.
you know, because I'm a pro. We have not been able to keep them off. They're all in the top water. They're all in the top 20, 25 feet of water, if not the top 15 feet of water. Um, what we have found though, actually, is that the, uh... <laughs> no net. It's a flying fish. <laughs> the smaller ones are actually in the top part of the water. The bigger ones are more in like the 17, 25 foot range. But so far, all rainbows today have not seen a single brown. Then again, we, uh, we've been in the same part of the lake, basically within the first mile of the boat launch. And this is like an eight mile long lake. Um, for those of you that don't know, Rock Lake, very long lake, got a bridge in the middle, and it runs from the southwest to the northeast. Very, very dangerous lake. People die in this lake all the time because the prevailing wind comes from the southwest and runs to the northeast and the launch is in the southwest so people with smaller boats uh, they get caught out here when the wind comes and it comes and when it does it's strong and there's white caps and it, and it pushes to the far end of the lake where there's nothing there's no there's lots of parts of the lake back there there's just nowhere to get out it's just rock cliffs so be careful when you come here it is deadly if you don't have the right equipment always bring life preservers always and if you're in a small craft just don't go very far from the launch there's just no need to there's lots of fish at this end of the lake larger boats that are safer in wind like this i got a 20 a 20 foot huge craft i don't care about the wind you know back and forth it's 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 of no concern to me but if you've got a canoe if you've got a, a kayak if you've got like a 10 12 foot fishing boat be careful out here because there's no warning when it, when it arrives, it arrives. So, no browns. We're gonna head back up and see if we can't keep finding the, uh, the bigger rainbows down a little bit deeper. And uh, maybe there's some browns mixed in and maybe we'll catch one. It's been a great day out here on Rock Lake. The fishing has been, up until recently, we've been here about three hours now. Uh, it's been nonstop. Uh, all day long. Rainbows only though. No complaints, I'll tell you that. Um, if you like what you see, make sure to smash that like button. As always, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, we have vlogs coming out all the time. Uh, click the bell next to the subscribe button. Even if you're subscribed, fish on. Even if you're already subscribed, the bell next to the subscribe button is for notifications. If you're subscribed and you don't click on the bell, you may or may not even get a notification when we release a new video. Oh yeah. That is a beauty. What is that, 16 inches maybe? Oh yeah. 14. Healthy fish out here though. Some holdovers. Another one on the... Uh... Frisky Jenny perch pattern trolling fly. Ooh, that metal pole, man, it keeps freaking me out. Is there something on there? That is a fish. That's a fish. Grab so, it. grab it. All right. I'm trying to wrap things up for the day, and uh, as we're pulling everything in, keep catching fish. In the description below, I will have a link to my fishing report on northwestfishingreports.com. The report will include GPS hotspots for exactly where we've been catching these fish, uh, what kind of lures we've been using. This one is an Apex Kokanee Killer. So make sure to look at the description and uh, you should be able to reproduce our results. We're out here in the evening. It's been about three o'clock to six o'clock now. And uh, it's just been a great day of fishing.
All right, great day of fishing. We've got the boat out of the water and I thought of something else I wanted to let you know about. The launch here at Rock Lake is very unimproved. It is not owned by the state. It's kind of operated in cooperation with the state. It does have some restrooms available. They're not the best. But the big thing to note is that there are multiple places to put in to the lake here at the launch and pretty much all of them are treacherous. Uh, the main one is basically straight in from the entrance, straight on in, and it's right here. Now, here in the end of April, there's a lot of water in this lake and it's really not that bad. Right out here, uh, I have to get the truck, you know, into the lake a bit to get the, the 20 foot boat to float uh, off of the trailer. Smaller boats probably don't have as much of an issue, but later in the year when there's not nearly as much water here, right out here, maybe out about 20 feet, 25 feet, because the water will go out quite a ways, is a sheer drop off. And so if you're putting your boat in and you back your trailer off of that and your trailer and your boat isn't floating yet, your boat and the trailer will be just sitting on rock and you're gonna be in kind of a tight spot. Remember, post a comment, win prices. That's it for today. Like I said, click like, click subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.